my dog stepped on a bee. In this video, we're going to be looking at the funniest and greatest moments from the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial. The defamation and countersuit trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard that broke the internet began on April 11, 2022 in the Fairfax County Courthouse in Virginia. It's been almost three weeks since the hearing began and a whole lot of new charges and revelations have surfaced, and we expect to see more in the coming weeks. Stick around till the end of the video, as we will be looking at some highlights from the trial that has caused commotion on the internet. But before we dive into it, remember that we make these videos for free for your entertainment, and all we ask in return is you click the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on. All set? Okay, let's go! Even before the trial began, the widely publicized case had been the talk of the town. Depp originally sued his ex-wife for defamation after she published an op-ed in the Washington Post. The Pirates of the Caribbean star said the opinion piece had harmed his career and personal life. Amber Heard then filed the countersuit reportedly for $100 million in response to Johnny Depp's defamation suit, which she filed in February of 2019. Her defense is that she never named Depp in the piece and that the Fantastic Beasts actor is to blame for orchestrating a hate campaign against her. Court processes are always dramatic and sometimes sad to watch, and Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial is no exception. However, in recent days, numerous events have caused laughing throughout the courtroom, significantly reducing the intensity surrounding this high-profile case. So, we're going to be running through some of these moments. Number 1. Amber Heard's lawyer objected to his own question. If you're familiar with court proceedings, you'll know the words objection and hearsay. And you'll also know that when one lawyer asks a question, the other party can object by using those words. Well, in this case, Amber Heard's lawyer objected to his own question. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kiffer told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, objection, Here's, hearsay. This happened during attorney Adam Nadelhaft's questioning of Ben King, the house manager for the Australian rental company that Amber Heard and Johnny Depp had previously, allegedly, rented out. Nadelhaft moved to object on the basis of hearsay while the witness was answering the question. Judge Penny Ascarade, clearly startled, reminded him that he was rebutting his own question and encouraged him to move on to his next one. Both in the courtroom and on the internet, this made people laugh, and there are several edits of this clip on TikTok. The injury that resulted in part of Johnny Depp's finger being amputated at the property managed by Ben King was the subject of these queries. This was the same property where Depp allegedly tried to write Amber Heard's name in P and where Heard's alleged bed pooping episode occurred. Adam Nadelhaft was trying to ascertain whether Ben King was aware of any tactics that could have resulted in such an injury to Johnny Depp, which was shortly followed by his self-objection. And the look on everyone's face was like, what are you doing, man? Number 2. Isaac Baruch Talking About European Kisses Isaac Baruch, Johnny Depp's childhood pal, was one of the witnesses in the case. Elaine Bredehoft, one of Amber Heard's lawyers, cross-examined him and the questioning was difficult, with Baruch becoming upset. However, when Bredehoft became hooked on the subject of Baruch kissing Heard, the cross-examination took an odd turn. The questions that followed were unsettling, with Mr. Baruch responded with seeming confidence. When Ms. Bredehoft inquired about the intensity of the kisses, Baruch said they were only pecs. He also stated that he is not European in response to Elaine Bredehoff's statement on the matter of the kiss. No, I'm not European. When asked to describe the relationship that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard shared, Mr. Baruch said they were always loving with each other. They treated each other like gold, you know, kissing and what can I get you type of thing just being kind to each other, always a loving situation. He also asked if he got along with Amber Heard and his response was, 
I loved her. I fell in love with her just like Johnny fell in love with her. I fell in love with her. She's totally respectful and gracious to me. She's got great teeth. She treated me with complete respect. Humor wise, total locker room humor. Demented humor. Totally laughed at the jokes, made the jokes, totally got along with her. Every time I walked into their place, Isaac, you want something to eat? Isaac, you want something to drink? He claimed that the only occasion Miss Heard did not extend such an offer was when he went in and she was applying a beauty facial mask at the kitchen counter, so she couldn't offer him anything. Mr. Baruch's recollection pulled a smile from Miss Heard's face at the end. Number 3. Alejandro Romero vaped and drove off before completing his testimony. The unusual statement of a doorman who worked at the Los Angeles apartment building where Johnny Depp and Amber Heard briefly lived has gone viral. He looked like he wasn't in the mood to talk, or like he wasn't bothered about any of them. He couldn't wait for the questioning to be over. During a pre-recorded deposition on day 10 of the current defamation trial in Fairfax, Virginia, Alejandro Romero was seen vaping and driving. As the video played in court, the jury and even death couldn't help but burst into laughter, and Judge Penny Escarati described the experience as a first in her career. That was a first, I'm sorry. I will, I will say you're wrong, that is the most bizarre. Romero described an occasion in which the couple asked him to investigate a possible intruder, which he believed was a dog scratching at their door. He said they were talking about someone trying to get into their unit, and in my head I was saying, you really think someone's trying to get into your unit? According to Romero, Depp and Heard were so terrified and he had to go and check. Romero carried out the search, since it was his responsibility, but he couldn't understand why they wanted him to. He further stated that the issue has made him so stressed out and that he doesn't want to deal with this anymore. He then drove off while concluding his statement. Heard's lawyer went on to say that that was the most bizarre deposition she's ever heard, and Judge Azkarate cutting her off and said, Yeah, okay, I gotta say I've never seen that before. I've seen a lot of things, but I've never seen that. Number 4. Johnny Depp laughed when his security guard mentioned his privates. Apart from Mr. Alejandro Romero's testimony, Mr. Rottenborn's cross-examination of the actor security officer made Johnny Depp and more than half of the courtroom giggle. Heard's lawyer asked Mr. Starling Jenkins if he witnessed Depp urinating in the house and whether the actor's thing was out during the 2015 incident where Depp allegedly whipped it out to pee in the foyer. The mere mention of Johnny Depp's privates was enough to make people giggle. Mr. Depp security, however, answered no to the question. I think I'd remember if I'd seen Mr. Depp's junk, Connolly answered, causing Depp and the entire courtroom to collapse in laughter. No. Mr. Mr. Depp had his penis out of his pants. Objection. Of his pants, didn't he? I think I would remember seeing Mr. Depp's penis. I'll know. Number 5. Amber Heard's lawyer asked Johnny Depp's psychologist about muffins. Elaine Radehoft, one of Amber Heard's lawyers, wandered off the main subject while interrogating the psychologist hired by the Aquaman star in another unusual episode of Cross Examination. Dr. Shannon Curry, the hired psychologist, had brought muffins for Miss Heard and Elaine Bredehoft was fixated on them as she kept asking questions related to the muffins. After Miss Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoft kept questioning Dr. Shannon Curry about her husband buying baked goods for Miss Heard, she said she wanted to stop talking about muffins. May I clarify what occurred so that we can stop talking about the muffins? Her relentless interrogation regarding the muffins, unsurprisingly, resulted in the creation of countless memes. Number 6. Georgina Duders Breaks Wind in Court Footage showing Georgina Gina Duders, the wife of Depp's longtime employee Stephen Duders, breaking wind began to circulate on social media. Mrs. Duders was the victim of a cruel joke as we're not sure if she actually did it. 
If you watch the actual video, there is no sound, indicating that some naughty troll had edited the video and put it on the internet. Gina Duders testified on April 14th, but the video didn't go viral until May. It took a long time to edit. She stated that Depp's behavior was nothing out of the ordinary after he drank alcohol or used drugs and that his demeanor was nothing out of the ordinary. Judge Penny Ascarati, however, struck Duder's words from the record after it was discovered she had seen footage of the trial online. Witnesses are not allowed to watch trial coverage because their testimony must be purely based on their own opinion. Before we reveal the last and probably the funniest one, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Number 7. The Poop Allegation The Pirates of the Caribbean star accused her of leaving feces in their bed following a huge fight just before she went into Coachella with her friends. Heard claimed she was packing for a trip to a music festival with a friend and had left Boo and the couple's other dog, Pistol, on their bed as she packed. Depp testified earlier in the trial, which is currently in its fifth week, that he planned to stop at the flat to retrieve some possessions when he received a photo of human feces on his side of the bed from someone at the house. He also said that Heard tried to blame it on the dogs, but he wasn't having any of that. He said, they're teacup Yorkies. They weigh about four pounds each. He also said, I lived with those dogs. I picked up their funk. It was not the dogs. Although this is a very serious trial, it hasn't failed to deliver some of the funniest moments. So much that it's all beginning to look like a sitcom. And that's it for today. Let us know in the comments section which of these moments is your favorite. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get all the notifications of our videos. Check out the video on the screen and we will see you next time.